morning everybody welcome back to my channel this is Dean um, Filipino nurse retires home I was about to say welcome to the pre-surgery testing that's the last one uh, the last department I uh, stayed where before retirement and I, my mind is accustomed I was about to say that but anyway it's funny so welcome back do not forget to subscribe comment share like or dislike and the comments that you're gonna have would really help other people and so fill me in with with info um, or ask me some questions okay so let's make this a, a positive channel for everybody to learn today uh, an, a subscriber had asked me about uh, hiring helpers or helper in your house that's a good question in fact I had already an old video and I cannot find who it is so anyway I might have uh, I must have deleted that but I would fill in that that uh, that curiosity okay I'm kind of used to that okay growing up we had few experiences to have a helper in the house all right helpers it's not really I don't think you call it maid because really it's a helper um they stayed with they stay in the house with you okay they stay 24 7 basically and my mom mother they stay with us one they stay with us they're just like family so my mother used to buy them their soap and all those necessary personal hygiene stuff and really they're just part of the family they cook for you they do some shopping you know they go to the palenque and buy your food whatever you would ask um, clean the house okay it doesn't mean that you are not gonna help okay so they're just part of your family all right now uh, you take care of them and they'll take care of you so give and take thing but be sure there's also gonna be some limitations there okay because sometimes if they're single they might have boyfriends or whatever you have to kind of put a little bit of limitation there uh, how much uh, how much communication they're gonna have with their boyfriends or their families okay so you have to tell them that ahead of time so that they will know their expectation now when you hire somebody you have to really know their background um, most likely they belong to the, the same community okay you really have to know their background because you will never know that you will have a kleptomaniac we have experienced that actually it was my mom's uh, coins that she had those are antique coins that she had since uh, 1945 during American acquisition in the um, American uh, regime in the Philippines she had those in little containers like that and they are there's plenty of them that's supposed to be for us anyway this little girl that we have she's a teenager at that time she went to another store to the other store to the study study store and used that money to buy some stuff and my mom found that out later on because the lady was wondering what where she got that from those coins but anyway we got that back and I don't know why I, I uh, honestly I left it in the house where I sold before okay it was here in the United States they are really very nice coins anyway that happened to us back to the topic so you have to know about the background of the helpers and you don't really want to hire anybody who who is really married that has a lot of children okay um i would say if you're gonna hire somebody they should not have a uh, any plan to have any children anymore like in their mid 40s maybe like that more responsible okay um sometimes you can even use uh, teenagers who are going to school so they can be part-time working students for you so you provide for everything their schooling and so on and so forth um, and then you pay for their tuition and they come back and work for you uh, part-time 
So they stay with you. You provide for everything for them, actually. Okay, in my case right now, what I'm going to do when I go there, I will hire one and then she will be responsible like cleaning, you know, washing the clothes and cooking. And I probably would pay her the ongoing price, actually. I would think in the barrio, something like provinces, maybe three, five, but I think I will give the lady about four thousand dollar uh, pesos that's gonna be uh in the island okay uh in Davao city that's what what i'm going to pay her if in case that would be if i think that is not enough then i would have to go up on it okay so let's be generous some okay because those are human beings we're dealing with they're not slaves okay so treat them with kindness you really have to um not a lot right now, you cannot get too much of that because they they normally go out of the country. They call themselves like domestic helpers. They go to Saudi Arabia, Singapore, China, and work there for a little bit more money than what Filipinos can offer. So good luck to you, but I think if you're retired and you can afford it, I would encourage everybody to do that, you know? Uh, for me, I would really use one if I can get one. So I'm planning to get the wife of my caretaker in my property uh, she has no work right now so I'm going from I'm planning it all depends on how what is the performance of the husband okay now um, there's no contract you don't have to sign any kind of contract so um, it's understood that you just have to hire them and pay them I don't know bi-weekly maybe or every month okay they take off maybe i would say what sundays because uh, it's a big christian country so give them time for their families and do some errands or do some personal stuff that they need to do okay and um i think it would be very good idea if you're gonna give them also a uh, like uh, feel health so if in case they get sick you're not gonna be in trouble with the hospitalization, okay? So that would help for the peace of mind, okay? And uh, I guess that's it. And if you have some more questions for me, that feel free to give me some comments. And if you're gonna ask me what's the ongoing rate uh, in other provinces, I really do not know, but I think in Davao City, it's going for like three, five to 4,000. So I would um, go for that and go up on that. In Manila, I do really, I really do not know. Okay, and take good care and good day to you guys. Bye bye. Hello again. Uh, this is in addition to what I said about um, hiring a helper. Okay, um, it is about my plan how am i gonna do this when they live with me okay normally a filipino family especially those who are able to afford they normally uh, include that in their plans in making a house building a house there is a maid quarter they call it maid quarter in which they will be provided of uh, everything like a good a bed as well as shelvings for the cabinetry for their clothes and Maybe if you will be nice, give them maybe a small TV or they can join you, you know, they can join you. So that is my plan for them and uh, they will have their own bathroom or they can use the common bathroom. Okay, so so that they will feel comfortable and they feel like uh, the human beings and not slaves. But anyway, um, that's it. Thank you.